I've been married for the past 18 years, and I know this will sound strange, but I've never loved my wife. Hmm. It all started when I used to see myself as a fine boy, so I was never serious with any lady. I later met my wife, who proposed to me, and even though I didn't love her, I accepted to marry her out of pity. We have five kids, but they all came out of lust. I later met a young lady, and that was the first time I've ever loved a woman. As fate would have it, she didn't love me. She told me we could only be friends. Jess, we've been friends for six years now, and I thought that she would eventually change her mind and accept my proposal. I basically provide her with everything she wants, including paying her rent. Her rent is about to expire, and she's asking me to pay for her again. She has started showing certain signs that she may be interested in me, but I don't trust her. I'm in a fix now. What do I do? Rosina, the way you are arranging yourself in the chair. Hello. Talk to me. My dad is confused. See, the guy is confused. How can you say that you're a fine boy and yet you have to settle with a girl who came to propose to you? It means that you, 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 you don't be a fine boy. Because <laughs> if you're a fine guy, you have... Yeah, you know what I mean? So if you're a fine boy, you have so many ladies hitting on you or you have the opportunity to hit on so many ladies, mm -hmm. then why do you settle for somebody who came to chase you? It doesn't make you. sense to me. Mm -hmm. Out of, and you say you, you married her out of pity. Mm -hmm. And you fine boy, fine boy like that. You're able to stay in that pitiful marriage for 18 years. The, look, the marriage is an adult. Can vote anywhere on the planet. <laughs> that's, the reality, that's the reality on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking that, look, no man who doesn't love his wife enough is going to spend 18 years with a woman, pop five babies out of them, but you never really loved the woman and you felt you're a fine boy, you deserve better X, Y, Z. On the contrary, see, because he's popped five babies from the woman, he's probably not seeing the woman as very attractive. He's probably not thinking that, oh, this woman can do some styles she can she used to do now. She doesn't want to do again. Maybe there may be one or two things. So he is rather lasting after this younger woman. He is rather now lasting after a younger woman because all he sees is fresh blood, young lady, the endless possibilities, what, what he could experience that he hasn't experienced with his wife for so long. So I think he's a confused guy. Now that young girl, the only reason why you find her so attractive is because she's not giving in to you. And you see, men are chasers. So when you are chasing a woman and the woman is doing chakra, you realize that the hunt gets more intense because you are confused. You think you're a fine guy. You have to settle for somebody who came to propose to you. And when you look in the mirror, what you see is not actually what the situation is, but you think you are so fine. So you think you can have anybody. So now you are chasing after something that you find attractive, that they know they busy you. And now you are, you are, you are hurt. So you are intensifying that. Look, the day he manages to land this girl, you lose interest in the girl because this is pure lust. Mm. And the girl is also playing him. This The rent is due, so she's probably returning calls, she's probably being nice. You pay the rent and see. We'll go back to uh, factory settings. So, my dear, you have a woman who has been faithful to you, has given you five children. You probably have a very beautiful family. Concentrate on rekindling the love. You see, I keep saying that, look, love... It's not a static thing. When you say you love somebody, it doesn't mean that every time the fire is there. Both of you, and it's not one party, both of you need to work at it daily. And love moves from stages. I mean, there are stages of the whole butterfly. You can't keep yourselves away from each other. Your tongues are probably intertwined the whole time. And then there are stages where love makes you take hard decisions, real decisions, forgive each other, do all these things. It goes through processes. And at some point, both of you need to decide that, look, listen, we've been doing this thing this way for so long. Let's put some fire and passion into our relationship. And then you can go a step further and decide to do something else out of something that both of you have never really done. But it, it kind of like, you know, brings that passion back into the relationship. Or you can actually do something that you did like 10, 15 years ago. And then all the memories keep rushing back and rekindles their marriage. So most couples, what happens is that you are doing the same thing all the time, concentrating on school fees, the children, nannies coming in and going out, and all manner of things, possible cheating, you know, 
then you end up losing the fire in the marriage and you think that you don't love your wife you wait you leave there another man picks her up and you now you start chasing her again that's what i think hmm. all right um uh, olivia <laughs> let me come in studio okay so love sometimes is overrated like i always say i want to share a quick story with you hopefully i'll be quick here <laughs> So um, I had this story from an amazing woman. She told me about how her parents were put together. Her mom was in the village. She, want, she wanted some other village crazy rascal boy, but it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. What happened was that they asked her to marry some other guy instead. Okay. On the wedding day, you should see the wedding photos. This woman stand, stood next to this man. She wasn't even smiling. She right. wasn't even happy. But her uncle, who advised her to marry this other guy, right, said to her, look around you in this village. How many people do you see who have the opportunity to school in London, who have had the opportunity to work in London? So basically, she was asked to marry this guy who had a good life going on, a degree, he who was not extra you know, handsome, extra charismatic or anything of that sort. But she listened. And how many years down the line, this guy, this marriage, this woman, they had five kids. The kids are all influential people. They made the marriage work. It wasn't based on love. It was just based on understanding, convenience, let's see, mm. circumstances. Right. But... She didn't go cheating on him. He didn't go cheating on her. But today, they love each other so much. You see, it didn't start rosy. It didn't start... It was convenient. But what I'm saying is that you're this guy, right? You've been able to put this woman's beauty. However you want to look at it. 18, 18 years. Mm. You've married her. You've lasted after her. You claim that you're fine. Like Rosie rightly said, maybe the mirror is dece deceiving you. You're probably not fine because you are fine. <laughs> Plenty <laughs> girls would have come to you and you wouldn't have had to settle for less. My guy, you're not fine. Right now, Seth, you did bore me. Sorry. Because you are in an 18-year-old marriage, right? And you're asking us whether you, be, you should be forking out money to, to some to, other girl. To finance Rent. your six-year-old relationship that hasn't even been defined. My guy, take that money and take your wife. Buy her some nice lingerie. Take her out on holiday and treat her right. She is raising five children for mm. you for crying out loud. Chale, chale, chale. Put your knickers on and stop wasting money. Like, you need to grow up. There's nobody who is going to be, I don't know, in love with you right now. This girl doesn't love you. Trust me, so many girls, they didn't love you all this while. And how many years down the line, you're, you're, doing, you're now Mr. Otia for another woman. And the woman doesn't even like you like that. Like, mm. it's all in your head. You need help. You need to get up. You need to grow up, my guy. You need to grow up. You're annoying me, Carl. You are not... The girl doesn't love you. She wants your money. That's all she wants. She doesn't really want you for you or anything. She just wants your money, my guy. Focus on your marriage. Make it work. Charlie, this woman has been good to you. Sometimes have a, have a heart. Mm. Have a heart for this woman. Focus on your kids. Make it work. Spice up your relationship. You are able to get an erection and sleep with her. Why can't you make the rest work? My guy lives on soon. <laughs> Savvy, you have the final <laughs> word on this one. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the, this guy's sense of reality. Um, I think the story he's telling himself versus reality are two different things. There's no ways in this lifetime that a man who thinks he's all that is just going to go and marry someone for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. Not possible. Not possible. But for some reason, he's decided to, that is going to be his narrative. And let me start by saying that this guy struggles. He's got a... There's no, there's lack of self here. There's no self introspection. And I'm sorry to say with a sprinkle of narcissism, um, he has this urge to rescue. He likes to rescue. So he's told himself out of pity, he married his wife. Um, you know, he's rescuing this girl again. Uh, they've known each other for six years. She said, let's just be friends. So there isn't even intimacy. 
and yet he is still very comfortable to go after someone who is using him where there's someone back at home who in her mind thinks the past 18 years have been amazing he's got someone at home who thinks they have had the best marriage in life and he's telling himself oh this woman i just married her out of pity oh you know the only reason i have children was because it was lust are you really listening to the language you're using mm -hmm. What does that mean out of lust? And how is it possible that you can be in a relationship with someone for two decades mm -hmm. and there's been no change? Mm -hmm. That is a problem. That, that's why I say there's a sprinkle of narcissism here. It's me, 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 me. I married her out of pity. No, you didn't. You had a choice. Mm -hmm. You had a choice, you decided to marry her. You've built a family, but you're telling yourself in your head that this is not the family you want. How in the world are you saying you're in love with a woman who's told you that she doesn't want to be with you? Mm -hmm. That just tells me that his sense of self is skewed. And he needs to look at himself and he needs to look at his life going forward. This doesn't make sense. And for me, the story is more about him and the stuff that he has to fix. There's nothing wrong with his wife. His wife has been there. <clears throat> They've got five children. There's nothing she can change because she's not even aware of this. But the fact that he hasn't worked towards having a wonderful experience in his marriage and his family, the fact that he hasn't worked towards loving this person that he's been with for almost two decades is not okay. I'm sorry. And then you're telling me for the for the past six years you've been having an emotional affair mind you on his own because this woman that he has to pay the rent for is not involved in this emotional affair so this guy lives in a fantasy world and not reality and he's made up his own stories and that's the truth for him he's not looking at real life and if he wants to be happy i suggest that he looks within himself and decides what he wants for his life but this is, 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 is not reality. It's fun and games. I don't even have to talk about the girl with the rent who just wants to be friends. We're grown. My brother, you know the answer to that. I'm not even going to talk about that. I don't even know what you're doing. Or, or there's something you saw in this woman and you're telling yourself you're in love. No. I think fix yourself, sort yourself out. Right. Totally agree. I mean, I'll piggyback on Savvy's <laughs> words. Fix yourself sort yourself out because <clears throat> it's so obvious that this other woman is you know leading you on because she wants you to pay her rent i mean it's not rocket science it's 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 as, it's as it's bright as day we can see that work on your marriage though 18 years a woman dedicating her life her body everything to you bringing you five solid kids you can't just throw that away on a whim right and here's the other thing if you really do get to that point where you feel like i cannot do this Take a decision, but don't just string her along because that's also really mean. Okay, so just be a man, take a decision and stick to whatever your decision is.